fought someone from, I think, Argentina. Argentina, wow. Who was here on business, but it also happened to be a Smasher. Funny how that works. That's more terrifying than he's here on business, but we're going right into game one. I'm actually really excited to see, uh, like, a Ridley uh, in bracket because this is one of the few. This is one of the characters that you don't really see too much, uh, which I think is very unfortunate because I feel like a lot of people. Oh no, you got one more jump. Yeah, and that's it. That's why you don't yeah. see them that often. Unfortunately, uh, whoever told you multiple jumps uh, works in this game, no, they don't. Not for everybody. Uh, every every pit main is crying out. <laughs> This is so floaty too, but like, this, I, if I was, as I was saying before, uh, this is a fan favorite, a character that a lot of people wanted, but were told that he was too big, and then when he came, nobody really cared. He is too big. He, he's he, big, all yeah, right. I mean, In yeah. practice, he's just too big. Too yeah. big for his own good. Which is unfortunate because that was on the far right of that foot, but he still got hit with the down air. All right, let's. You got uh, so right here. Solar Beam has to try to get this uh, stock off because he's already playing a defensive. And nice command on. grab. There we go. Nice command grab uh, to deal with the uh, get up options right there. That is such a vicious move. You just drag your face oh, no, yeah, into it's, the dirt. It's malicious. You know what? You know the vibes that it gives me of uh, if Ooh, for the people. I love that. To the people who uh, who actually watch Dragon Ball Z, uh, the Buu saga when uh, Kid Buu is dragging Vegeta through oh, the man. dirt. And then decides to pick him up and just key blast his face. Is that that's the vibe that no I get? No one from that. wants to be a Vegeta. <laughs> of course not. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. That's your public service announcement, folks. Probably give you another one later. All right, that's this it. is Solar Beam is close to. Never there we mind. go. Why do I say things? <laughs> Why do Why? I try and prop up players? This yeah, is we what just happens. you try to you try to uh, give them a little bit of pep talk, and then they take thirty percent. Okay, there he goes. Thirty. Going up. Forty-three. Okay. It just keeps going higher. All right, yeah, Solar Beam needs to find an opening right here. Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, oh wait. And you're gone. Oh. No. <laughs> I wish that I would feel, kill, like I an instant like kill. I feel like Side B should have just dragged and killed from there. I could be wrong. Yeah, that percentage. Uh, I mean, because he, he would, but he would have went to the other side, so maybe not. Uh, it's hard as, to say, but yeah. that was excellent awareness. True. That is true right there, being able to tech out. Oh, misses the drag down. That probably would have closed out the first game. Oh, yeah. That was the third time he went for that, at and least. Oh, no, wait. There, there we go. Is. Yes, there's two variations. If there's a platform, you can go for the up smash. And then if there's no platform, you can just drag him down for the down smash. Nonetheless, Joker takes that game one and Fitz is on the board. Yeah. I've never, again, I've never heard of this uh, player before, but uh, definitely got some moves about him. Def he definitely has the, the Joker fundies, ladies and gentlemen. It, it felt like he just did everything right, especially in the matchup against Ridley. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if he just does the same things again, and, and if it, uh, if he's able to pull it off, this should be a smooth game two for him. But nonetheless, let's see if Solar Beam can bring it right back for game two. We're going right back to PS2. Let's see what happens. You know, it's it's the it's the classic. The everyone run it back because it is the most neutral stage. Yeah, I'm heard it here, folks. Which is weird because there's some people who don't like PS2. Uh, and I, I genuinely wanted to ask some people why, because I don't see a problem with it. But this uh, is the I don't true know. Third FD. That's why. Is you that's what you feel that, like? Because that's what happens. Solar Beam taking an amazing first stock to the second game, saying, "I'm not out of the hill yet." Unfortunately, getting uh, peppered right in the mouth. Hey, yo, Arsene, right back at it again. Let's go. We take this damage. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh wow! The double jump. That we back here so. Back here is so like just destructive, especially when you have Arsene. It just sounds not like... Arsene. It's still very strong. Oh very, yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely a top five privilege move if ever I've seen one. That that sounded like it came from the chest. Is it? Do you want to talk about something, Sonny Fiend? I mean, this is a safe space by all means. I mean, I know the deal because I play that character. Okay, no, so, so I'm, there just, you go. I'm just enthralled seeing it happen on screen. Oh, okay, so you're one of you're one of the the, the abusers. Okay, huh? And, and Ridley's just a fun character to watch, so I'm in for a treat. Of course, yeah. Uh, but you lose. Oh wait, no, no, he can't come back. You know, yeah, he can't come back. Uh. <laughs> Went a little uh, too far out. Yeah, and I, that was because he got hit with the Rebels Guard, so he fell down really fast. So it was very unfortunate for Fitz right there. Fitz right there. Uh, the he gets the drag sound. down, down smash. Yeah, the idea was sound, but uh, in that instance, Solar Beam was just on the ball. Yeah. He still has another stock to play with. And Solar Beam is up a stock, so that he might be able to run away with this game too, which is really great. We're going to guarantee that we're going to guarantee the game three right off the bat. This is great. 
punishing that rebel scar as everyone should do. Don't don't just let him get it for free. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of end lag, like all counters normally do. So make sure to punish your local Joker mates. Mm -hmm. Don't don't let them get away with that shit. Oh no, oh, baby! Don't let them get away with that too. Uh, if you can avoid it, try to. I mean, that, please. That was, that was kind of a checkmate situation. <laughs> yeah, he didn't had nowhere else to go, honestly. But uh, the big scary man's gone away, so maybe he would have racked this back up. Ridley does not have an issue killing at all. Uh, he definitely has a lot of uh, moves that can lead into kill options, whether it's back air or up air. Or even he could uh, go for like really cool options like uh, tech chases. Like when... any any fault of Ridley's is. Or you could just do that. No, you're, he's gone. He, he's gone. Wait, he's not dead? No. Oh my. That, that was way too far. But um, what I was going to say is Ridley has no shortage of good moves in neutral and an advantage. Oh god. Kind of had to air dodge there, but then you lose your jump. No. That, oh, ooh, that, was too. that was untackable. That was untackable. Mm, unfortunately, the uh, better character came out on top. The set going to Vitz with uh, no like with no shortage of Solo Beam keeping that competitive. He was primed and ready to make that uh, game to his, take things into overtime, so to speak. Like that was so good. That was such a good pickup right there, and it's, it's just very unfortunate because Solo Beam was uh, up an entire stock this entire um, that entire game too. And then and then down. this yeah, one he was up two stocks. Yeah, bink. All right, yeah, at that point, it's like, you can't come back. There's just no way, honestly. Even with Arsene going um, that far. Which, I, don't know, I don't know if he kept his jump, but... No, he lost his jump but uh, he after also, the Rebel He also could have drifted forward with Gun, which is very underutilized by a lot of Jokers, which saddens me, but... Uh, you probably so you mean right here? He could have been... He could have he he shot Gun to stop his momentum, drifted forward, and then recovered. I mean, do you though, think? Do though you think of he's course, just, yeah. Of course, because it's Arsene wings of uh, recovery. Yeah. It's very susceptible to getting two frame, but at like at that distance, no, he was gone. Jump. The jump, <laughs> the jump might have been here, like behind his camera. Honestly. Oh, oh, okay, that's what she meant. I thought he, I thought he lost a jump. I thought he just lost the jump when he, uh, like when the really when, when hard, beam. It's really hard to tell because there's a camera in the way. Yeah, yeah that's fair. I mean, I, I thought either, either at that point. Well, I thought that he may have lost the jump, uh, when he got hit with the nair. Yeah. Because at that point, it's like, because he flew farther. He flew in a really awkward way. Like I thought he would have went a little further down, but he kind of went up in, up in a way. So I thought maybe he had used his jump. That was good. Just that was yeah. Because like, I'm coming back from this, but you're not. Skadoosh. Like, I have I have a good recovery. <laughs> I have a good one here. Buffered air dodge, sealing the fates, and yeah. Bink. I'm what surprised. Color damage that did. Yeah. Just, Jesus. I'm surprised. Like when people who have uh people who do have like uh mm -hmm. like counters, I'm surprised they don't use it more in when like. Or as like a, situations. an off-state situation, you don't see it nearly as much, unless it's for a character that has a really, really good recovery. I mean that, yeah, it really depends on who you're fighting. Like characters who don't have a hitbox recovery at all, it's what are you gonna do? They're just putting yeah, yourself out true. for yeah, no yeah. reason. 